Hi, my name is Fatima Jima, and I will be your instructor for solving math word problems. As any other instruction, we do have an objective for this course, and that is, as stated here, given the word problem, in this case the math word problem, the learners will be able to work out the steps to create the math problem and find the correct answer to the question. So overall this means that we will give a math word problem that's written in word format and the learners will then be able to figure out, the, pull out the different steps into creating an actual numerical math problem and then work out the steps to be able to solve that numerical math problem and find the correct answer to the original question. So with that being said, let us begin working on our actual math problem. So our word problem is that Sarah has three apples, Mary has four apples, and Mike has six apples. Mike gives one apple to Mary, and Mary gives two apples to Sarah. How many apples is Mary left with? So now, in order to solve this word problem, we need to start doing the breakdown by finding the numbers. We want our learners to begin extracting the different uh, numbers by locating them first. And we do so by creating a list. So here is our breakdown. We extracted the numbers and found that Sarah has three apples. So we have three for her. Mary has four apples. So she's assigned that four apples. And then Mike has six apples. So he has assigned his six apples in our breakdown list. This will be easy for us to start beginning our math problem. So doing the breakdown helps us find the different numbers we need to start off with to begin our equations. We'll learn this in the next uh, step, but for now it's important to first extract whatever numbers you see. When solving a math problem, that's one of the things you have to keep an eye out for. Find any numbers and extract them and put them into a list and assign them if that helps. Now we move on to locate the first step in what happened in our math problem. So we note that Mike gave one apple to Mary. That's a math equation right there. So Mike had six apples, gave one apple to Mary. So six apples minus one apple. Overall that six minus one is five, meaning Mike has five apples left. We just did our step one in solving our math problem. It's usually important in solving math problems to follow the steps in order. So the way you see the word problem is written out and how the numbers are presented, it's important to uh, pull those numbers into different equations in that same order. Otherwise, the learners can get confused and then it's harder to solve the problem. So this way, we're, we're starting with step one, what we saw in the word uh, problem first. Okay, now for our second step. Mary receives the one apple from Mike. So Mary began with four apples and she adds her one apple. So four plus one, which equals five. So now Mary has five apples. But wait, we're not done. We still have another step in the process that we have to solve before we can get to our final answer. So this goes back to our steps. That was our second step. Now we go back to the word problem and see what the third step was. What was uh, the third action that occurred that we need to have uh, a numerical problem for? What do we need to illustrate in numbers? And that'll be step three.
Okay, so our third step is then, finally, Mary gives two apples to Sarah. So, we begin with, Mary had five apples, and she takes away two of her apples to give to Sarah. So, five minus two equals three. So, let's see where we are in the word problem process. Now, now we see um, what other steps there are in our word problem. So, we go back and see if there are any other steps. And since there aren't, we can move on to our final answer. Well, it looks like that was the final step in that math word problem. So, based on our answer from the previous step, Mary is left with three apples. That solves our big mystery. Our problem is solved. The question we began with was how many apples is Mary left with in the end? Well, we found out that Mary is left with three apples. So, we did the breakdown, we had all our steps in figuring out the different equations, and ended our result with Mary's three apples. So, congratulations, you've concluded the lesson, and now you know how to solve word problems.